Hi, I'm Rami, the founder of Unstable Games. And I'm Jesse, the game design manager, and we're here to teach you how to play Twisted Cryptids. Twisted Cryptids is a tabletop game for two to four players that takes about 60 minutes to play. In this game, you'll play as a cryptid navigating your love-hate relationship with humans to earn your status as a true legend. Let's start with setup. Unfold the board and place it in the center of the table. The board consists of two sections, the wilderness and the myth track. The wilderness is composed of six sites where you and your fellow cryptids will hide as humans scurry around trying to catch a glimpse of you. Encountering humans throughout the game can cause you to gain or lose myth points, which you'll account for on the myth track. You'll notice that the track isn't very long. As you gain myth, you'll move your meeple to the opposite end of the track and collect a myth token, which represents 10 points. Next to the board is the rest area where humans congregate before venturing out into the wilderness. There are three flavors of humans in the game. Hikers, hunters, and researchers, each with their own designated space on the rest area. To finish setting up the board, place two human tokens matching the symbols depicted on each site. Shuffle the event deck and place it next to the board face down, with space to flip over the current event when the game starts. You'll also shuffle the action deck and place it face down near the event deck with space next to it for a discard pile. This is the deck from which you'll draw cards that you'll play throughout the game. When you're finished, your setup should look something like this. You'll play this game as your favorite cryptid, so before you get started, you have to pick one. Each cryptid has their own legendary ability that you can use once per round. When you've selected your cryptid, take the corresponding cryptid card, sighting cards, hiding spot tokens, and meeple. Cryptids are complex creatures, each with secret motivations. Shuffle the hidden trade cards and deal two to each player. One of these cards will become part of your cryptid identity, and it comes with an objective that will help boost your myth at the end of the game. Choose the one that speaks to you and place it face down above your cryptid card. Now that you know what motivates you, it's time to prepare for encounters with humans. You'll take your nine sighting cards and arrange them into three equal stacks of three cards. Your sightings include decoys, hoaxes, silhouettes, and real deals. You can arrange your stacks however you like as long as you place three cards face down in each stack. But once you've set up your stacks, you can't change the order of sightings in each stack for the rest of the game. Each stack corresponds to a hiding spot. You have three hiding spot tokens that you'll place on sites in the wilderness. If an encounter occurs with humans at a site where you have a hiding spot, you'll reveal the top card of the corresponding stack. Your cryptid may only have one hiding spot at each site, and no more than three cryptids can hide at a single site. To finish setup, have each player draw five cards from the action deck. Now you're ready to play Twisted Cryptids. The game is played over five rounds, each divided into four phases. Dawn, Day, Dusk, and Night. At dawn, the sun rises and the humans begin to stir. During this phase, the first player will flip over the top card of the event deck and resolve its effects from top to bottom, moving humans around the wilderness as outlined on the card. Next is the day. During this phase, you and your fellow cryptids will go around the table three times, taking actions to maneuver humans around the wilderness. You'll play action cards from your hands to scare humans from your hiding spots, lure humans to your hiding spots, attract humans into the wilderness, or extract them from the wilderness back to their rest area. Once per round, you may also discard a card during your turn to activate your cryptid power. Each player takes three turns during the day phase. At the beginning of dusk phase, an encounter will happen at the site with the most humans in at least one hiding spot. Each player with a hiding spot at the site of the encounter will reveal the top sighting card of their corresponding stack. When you reveal a sighting card during an encounter, you'll gain or lose myth points based on the distribution of humans at the site of the encounter. Resolve the effect at the bottom of the sighting card, then remove your hiding spot token from the wilderness. Continue clockwise until each player with a hiding spot at the site of the encounter has revealed a sighting card and there are no longer any hiding spots at that site. Once the night phase begins, it's safe for the cryptids to move around the wilderness and prepare for the next round. If your cryptid had an encounter during the dusk phase, you have to choose a new hiding spot. 
If you did not reveal a sighting card during the dusk phase, you may move one of your hiding spots at this time. The night phase is also your opportunity to discard as many cards as you'd like, then draw back up to 5 cards. When you finish the night phase of the 5th round, it's time to total your score. Flip over the remaining sighting cards in your stack and gain 7 myth points for each real deal that remained hidden. Afterwards, flip over your hidden trait and gain myth points based on your level of completion of your objective. The player with the most total myth points wins the game. Now all your cryptid friends know who the true legend is. Thanks for taking the time to learn how to play Twisted Cryptids. We hope this quick walkthrough has been helpful for you. Now go and be the cryptid you wish to see in the world.